In this video, I want to go through 10 food styling tools that you should really have. And the first one is not really a tool for the stylist, like production and work, but more for their safety. Pop these on the end of every light stand. When you've got your boom arm sticking out, jab a knife through the end of it, poke it on the end. So with people who aren't familiar with your space and they're walking around, it stops them taking their eye out. Also, I often ask an assistant to move something for me. I forget I've asked them to do it because I didn't do it myself and I poke my own eye out. So these here, very useful. Now the next item is something I keep for food stylists in case they don't have them or if they forgot them, and that's knee pads. I shoot flat lays, I always shoot flat lays. We do almost all flat lays, so much so that I have a camera permanently rigged up for flat lays, which means we're shooting on the floor to save us having the camera 50 meters in the air. My floor is concrete, it is hard. These stop your knees feeling like you're 90 years of age the next day, very useful. I don't style much, maybe if I'm doing a lighting test I do, and if I do, there's only really one tool that I'm capable of using, and that's these. These are designed to feed bugs to snakes, I think. Mice, you know, you wouldn't get a mouse in there, would you? Bugs to snakes. Pick your bug up, feed it to the animals so you don't get your fingers bitten off. Great for any little intricate fiddling and finickety sort of movements. Very useful for people like me who've got short, fat, stubby fingers. These are great. I'm gonna pop links to all these in the description so you can find them. There'll be UK links, but at least it will let you know what you're looking for. But there we go. Tweezers, big tweezers, very useful. Next up is the surgical scalpel. This one needs the blade changing because I've done something disgusting with it. Anyway, these are very useful for cutting, for cleaning. We've often had stylists like picking out bits of dirt from a, an octopus tentacle or slicing something like lasagna. If you use a knife or a spoon to cut lasagna when you're shooting it from above, you need to have those cascading layers so you can actually see it's a lasagna because if you cut it straight down, you don't know what it is. And this here is great for just cutting through that pasta very carefully, incredibly sharp blades, very useful. Which brings me through to the next item, which is a syringe. Now, you need to be careful with these. Um, not so much because they're dangerous. These are not medical, like, you can't go through your skin with these. These are for like medicine and stuff. But people look at you funny if they find a syringe kicking around at the bottom of your back. But these are very useful. If you need to get some little droplets in the right place, it's more accurate than a pipette, I find. A um, bit more control and you can just really, you know, with a needle this thin, you can put it wherever you need it to be and just get it exactly how you want. Very useful bit of kit. You buy them in bulk, you get different sizes of them. You can also use them to squirt like tomato sauce through the air and stuff like that. You know, fun stuff. They're good, but explain to your parents first why you've got them. And then we have Rizzler paper. Now, I don't know if it's called Rizzler paper around the world, um, but this is like cigarette rolling paper and it doesn't have anything on it apart from paper. It's very good for blotting certain things. A lot of blotting papers have like residue and things, but these here always clear. They cost like pence. I can't put a link up to these because I don't want to encourage people to smoke, but Rizzler papers. Now this is not a sexy item by any stretch of the imagination. Now we call these cotton wool buds, but I think the rest of the world call them Q-tips. I don't really understand why, maybe it's a brand name or something, um, but these are great. If the blotting paper is not absorbent enough, then you can just get one of these and sort of dab your way around the plate. Very useful, good for lots of different messes. Now this here is a makeup sponge and obviously not wearing the makeup, as you can probably tell from my face. I wasn't really aware of these, but these are great when you need to level something. You just need to put something under there just to like raise a glass perhaps if the table's crooked or whatever it may be. It's also good if you're shooting a wide angle flat lay and your glasses look like they're falling. You can often pop these underneath things to like pull them in so in real life they look like they're converging inwards but by the time the lens distortion is taken into account it's all pretty level. Um, although increasingly I'm less of a fan of pretty level and I quite like the falling over look but that, that's, that has nothing to do with this. These are good. Okay one but last. This is for the drinks people. This here is What's it called? Bird's Original Surf Wax. I believe it's for surfboards. I wouldn't know, I'm not cool, I don't surf, but this is a bar of wax. And if you rub it on a beer bottle when it's warm, it makes it look frosted. And the frosted stage is the stage before you get the water droplets. Water droplets are overdone. I don't know what's happened to the world, um, but everyone seems to be spending hours getting their droplets and ice shards right on the bottle, but the commercial world doesn't want it anymore. Get your bird soap. Last item is something that I have a lot of. I've got at least 20 pairs of scissors in here. You need scissors of all shapes, sizes, and for all different applications. Dressmaking scissors, paper scissors, these little stabby scissors. Good scissors. Make sure you have scissors, they're incredibly useful. Now I'm gonna try and get some food stylists on this channel to give you some like real world advice because it seems to be missing from the internet. Um, so do hit subscribe if you wanna get a notification of that because it should be coming up in the next few weeks.